We see the end result of couples that are head over heels all the time. But where does that begin? How does it go from friend zone to forever? I personally need this information because one, I'm really sucky at dating. Two, I'm constantly being friend zoned, no idea why. But because I have a personal investment, I am committed to finding out how people turn one date into a love story. I'm Ashley I, and this is the story of us. The first question I have to ask is how long have you been together? Five years. Okay. Yeah. We've been together for almost two years in November. We've been together for two years. years. Actually, it'll be five years in November. In November. Uh, a little bit over a year. Two years in September. Uh, going on five years. Yep. Four, going on five. Let's get to what my favorite question is in this entire process. How did you guys meet? Which time? Oh, what does that mean? Both times, the first time. Okay. So there was an initial meeting, right? Mm -hmm. So I was playing in this. Uh, I don't even remember this meeting. I was playing in a celebrity softball league, and I'm leaving my game, and I see Denisha and her friend. And you and fell in love. No, no, the end. not not quite. <laughs> and I got her phone number, and we text a couple times, but we never hooked up. Fast forward, I don't remember exactly the time period, but we were on Twitter talking. She wrote a blog. I had written a blog. She was talking, telling me how awesome I was and all this, right? So then, <laughs> and then one day, <laughs> what? I yeah, that's kind of what happened. Like you were like, you know, he's smart. This is what and all you tell stuff. people out in the world. Yes. The Met story, like how people met, uh, they just are so different when you ask oh. the girl and you ask yeah. the guy. Yeah. And well, then, uh, when he's done, I'll tell you the truth. Yeah. Okay. And then, I cannot and then wait can to hear the there. difference. Yeah. So then one day I slid in her DMs and, <laughs> and then I told her I needed to ask her a question. So she gave me her phone number and when I typed her phone number in my phone, a name came up. Wait, she already gave you her phone number. I didn't know it was her. I didn't know it was her. No And she way. didn't, she That's allegedly didn't story. know it was me. This seems very faded. So, no, no, I'm serious. Like, I had he's no just, idea. He's no, just so gotten when hundreds of girls' phone numbers. <laughs> so he has absolutely no clue who's actually in his phone, who he's already talked no, to. No, 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 but I, but I had <laughs> your name and then Valley at the end, so I knew where I met you. Valley? So after I slid in her DMs, right, yeah. and I told her I need to ask her a question, punched the number in my phone, and then her name was in the phone, right? Yeah. So then I'm like, where the Mind hell do you, I he know didn't, her from? He didn't tell me this for like six months. He didn't tell me that he, my number was already in his phone. Right. Yep. So then when so you So I don't think he made the immediate connection. Okay, no, no, yeah. no, no. I knew I had already had the phone number, but I didn't remember where I met her. It but took it's me in months. Valley. Yeah. Uh, do you know how many he people live have been in the more valley? Specific. And you know how, how many, many Danielle's numbers? numbers he got in the valley? He's like, like, do you know how many 818s are in the valley, man? <laughs> and then I hit her up, and um, yeah, kind of the rest of the history. Now I need to know your side of the story. I, okay, I did there not. There is no other side of the story. <laughs> the, there's the truth. Okay, go on. So go we'll on. just do the truth. So when I met him, from my perspective, I, uh, I actually had read a blog that he wrote. And I was like, oh, he's smart, follow. Do you remember the softball game interaction? Like, did he give you Vaguely. a line? Did you think he was hot? She had to think I was hot. I mean, why else would she give me her phone I number unless- I believe he walked me to the car. No, I didn't. You were walking in, I was walking out. And I just gave you my number? Yeah. I don't know about I'm that. I'm that dude. He must have been like, you must have been a friend of a friend and I was no. like trying to not be rude. Just kidding. I'm just kidding, babe. We of course I was it. enamored. I was in, totally in love. I was like, this is my future husband. <laughs> of course I'm giving him my, my phone number. We went to the same college, but we didn't know each other in college because of our age difference. But we both have a mutual friend who is both of our, really, my best friend, his best friend. So he was back in Florida, uh, where I lived at the time, visiting his dad. And, uh, they were going bowling, and she invited me to come along, and so that was where we first met. We, we met went at a bowling. bowling alley. So <laughs> you're friends first. So you're saying it wasn't love at first sight. Well, she was dating somebody. So you so. never friend zoned each other. No, no, never. It was like a long distance, like acquaintance in a sense. Okay. For 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 six years. Yeah. Six years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my so goodness. So for a long time, like we knew each other, but we weren't like. You know, yeah. it wasn't like we were. We would close. send each we other like cute messages on birthday, social media. Yeah. 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 Like, right. he'd be like, happy birthday, gorgeous, and I'd be like, oh. 
Well, we met at a Toys for Tots campaign uh, back in Missouri, which is where we're from. I was volunteering. It, it was at a motorcycle rally. It was. I mean, <laughs> let's be real, it was, we were at a motorcycle rally together. Were you at a Toys for Tots donation thing yes. at a motorcycle rally? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was in the Marines, so I had to be there. I was actually like incredibly hungover that morning and didn't want to go, but <laughs> but I went anyways. I'm glad I did. If Just you happened, didn't, right? how crazy is that? <laughs> yeah. If you were hungover and didn't go. So she walked up to me and asked if I had pockets in my dress blues. <laughs> and I, I laughed at her and I said yes with like a confused look on my face. And she said, well, you should put this note in, in one of your pockets. And she hands me this piece of paper. And so I take it from her and I lift my jacket up to put it in my pants pocket. And when I looked back up, she was gone. Well, I was mortified, so I ran away. <laughs> okay, but it had your number? What did it say? It said, I, and I still have it. It said, uh, I just met you and this is crazy. That song sucks, but you should still call me. <laughs> ah, that's and so then she, cute. she put her name and her number in there. And that was right when the song came out five years yeah. ago. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that's really adorable. Suppose there's something like, um, my birthday's in 14 days, and I'm like, who's this? You know, like, my birthday's in 14 days, too. I want to see, you know, so I kind of snooped around her the Twitter. Just like... <laughs> How did you come across her Twitter? I don't know. Somebody um, retweeted it or liked it, and they showed it on, was going on my, my news page. feed. No, I wasn't. Okay. No, I wasn't. <laughs> And then you tweeted at her? Um, yeah, I did. So what did you say? I told her, I'm like, we have the same birthdays, you know. And she finally replied and she was like, oh yeah, my first time meeting somebody that has the same birthday. And then I'm like, okay, let's see if something starts from here. When do we get to meet in real life? Who initiated it? So we got each other's number after that because I asked for it. And she then, did um, <laughs> no. <laughs> and Go, then, girl. And then we started texting. Uh, he was just like, I have to meet you. And then he came, and then he met my parents, too. Oh, that's such a good way of doing it. How did you meet? Through a friend, Ali Conti, who is now a matchmaker. Professional matchmaker. No, like, seriously, she makes an incredible living off of matching up awkward men. She calls us, <laughs> oh, she, she, <laughs> calls, <laughs> she calls us couple zero. We had all sort of gone to college together, actually. Us and Allie, we all went to American University together. We sort of reconnected when we all moved to Los Angeles after college. She invited me over to her hot tub, and I thought we were like going for girl time. To her hot tub, like in the yeah, backyard? To her, yeah, in her apartment complex. <laughs> okay. And so I was like, great, I, I, I wear glasses, so I didn't even put contacts on, which you can't wear glasses in hot tubs. They fog up. Okay. So I get this text from this girl like, hey, do you want to come to my hot tub tonight? Right. I was like, definitely. Yeah, like <laughs> that could be cool, right? And so I said to my buddy, I was like, hey, dude, we got to go. And he's like, dude, do we have to? I was like, yes. She was like, hey, come to my hot tub. Like, there will be girls. I was like, nice. All right, that all sounds good. Okay, okay. I didn't know guys were coming. They come. I'm like in my like frumpy bun. I can't see facial expressions because I don't have my glasses on. He would be talking to me and be like, I was like, I think you're being sarcastic, but can you confirm? Like, <laughs> <laughs> at this point, I moved to LA like three weeks ago. I had like two friends. So I came up to Anthony afterwards and was just like, hey, I'd like to be your friend. I don't have any friends. Like, can I get your number? And I was like, oh, she wants <laughs> my number. <laughs> I did not mean to put out that vibe. <laughs> so the first time we went out, I thought it was like two friends getting to know each other. I was like, this is a first date. This is great. I've been on Bumble a few times, but I was never really like using it. Yeah. I was talking to my friends and they had gone on dates from the dating apps like that weekend before. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I'll get back on. I haven't been on in a while. And then I matched with him. Yeah, we matched going through your profile and I was like, oh, I said, okay. I said, Was there anything 100? interesting on my profile? I feel like I didn't say anything funny in the bio like at all. I mean, it's you don't not my bio, about, do you? It's, it's not about the bio, it's about the personality. Which is so, the personality, you mean my pictures. I mean, it was, it was short, so we matched, and I was like, give me your number, and she gave it to me. I found out that, you know, she was a twin. I'm a oh, twin, yeah. which is no. go. Yeah. No way! I was working at Terra Sushi, and then she came in with my best friend, Chad. <gasps> Who's my best friend also. Oh, okay, yeah, but no they, way! They, but they barely, they just met each other. Right, at the time. At the time, okay. so they walked in, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Chad, like, out loud, like, Chad, you just brought the most beautiful girl in the world in my restaurant. Aww. You have, and I was telling Chad, like, you have to marry this girl. You have to have babies with this girl. <laughs> I and thought he was crazy. Wait, wait, <laughs> question, were you on a proper date with Chad? No, no, he, had, he was like, let's go grab sushi sometime, like, after work, and I was like, yeah, sure. Were you working with Chad? 
No, he we work in the same plaza, so okay. we come over and drink at my bar after, and so like we that's how we initially met each other. You were hanging out. Yeah. Were you making out? No. Okay. Definitely not. Oh, <laughs> all right, great. We so then, so then did Chad was Chad like no no dude uh, well, not I was, mine I, I was you go a, for it. No, but I was in a relationship at the time. Okay. I was basically trying to hook her up with Chad. Okay. Like, I'm like, dude, don't let this girl go. She's like, <laughs> she could be the one. She's so beautiful, and she's so she was so cool right from the beginning. She didn't. She was cool with me being like stupid and, <laughs> and having fun. And yeah. obnoxious. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Himself. <laughs> yeah, myself basically. It is time we play a little game that we like to call relationship status. I'm going to ask you questions, and then you have to respond the way you think your partner well, would respond. <laughs> okay, first question. What adjective best describes your partner in the morning? Flip. Ready to fart and slow. <laughs> Do you agree? Are you ready to fart? Every yeah, morning. Yeah. That's what he does every morning. Yeah, you know, everybody does. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree you're slow in the morning? I don't think I'm slow. You think I'm slow? You're, you're slow to get out of bed, slow to get dressed. You are slow in the morning. Who does the most work around the house? OK, and we are in agreement. I was about to say, if you said you. <laughs> so I underlined it twice. <laughs> Who takes longer to get ready to go out? Go. Yes. <laughs> Duh. What would you say the most annoying habit is of your partner? Ooh, this is a long answer. Gosh, is it that annoying? Asking me to get her something that's within <laughs> reaching distance. Every day. Every reaching day. distance at the control. No, I would have to literally like get up and grab my wine glass. But he'll if he's up already, I'm like, can you just grab it for me and when you're on the way back? I love that. Boxers in the living room? He like gets dressed in the living room as to which is very sweet. It's not to like so I don't get woken up in the mornings. But the curtains are closed and everything, but he'll just like strip down in the living room and leave his boxers just laying around. <laughs> so it's like the first thing I see in the morning. I'm like, great, thank you. No, you're welcome. <laughs> My little gift. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on The Story of Us. I can't wait to continue to explore these love stories and putting couples on the spot when it comes to their relationship. See you next time. Can't get enough love in your life? Well, be sure to like this video and subscribe. You won't want to miss what we have coming up next on The Story of Us.